So have you ever wondered how to turn a design from this into an actual React application that looks like this? And this is all being done in both the designs and the React library are both using the MUI library or what's called the Material UI library. So if you ever wanted like that, you're in the right place because in this video tutorial, we're going to unfold the mystery of how to use the XPIN merge to actually design using your code components and actually make all of that easier for developers to later on just copy paste those components and the components are going to be like ready-made components already has props and everything that is needed to create a production ready React application. And this is actually where the UXPIN merge comes through. So the UXPIN merge is actually a really promising technology that allows you to design using your code. Yes, you're hearing it right. So now you can actually use your code components, you already built around code components or other design systems, for example, the material UI, uh, maybe like the fluent UI, any like design library that you feel like, or your own even your own custom design system or design library, you can use those code components and you can actually tell your designers to use those components to put them into the design. So for example, here we are on the UXPIN editor and as clear as in here, I already have put together a really awesome design using the MUI library or the material UI library as it was called before. So as Chris in here, it's a really made up design. It's a landing page. But if we take a look in these, those are not like pixels together. Those are actual components imported from the actual material UI library and the whole material UI system. And they are actually rendered in real time using the React render tree and, and the React engine at like whatever you want to think about it, but it's actually being rendered in real time. And those components are being imported from the latest GitHub revisions. So if you take a look, for example, into the app bar in here, screws in here from the actual side in here, we can you can play around with different configuration for the app bar. And if you take a look from the other side, this is an actual app bar component from the MUI design library. And if you take a look on like what other libraries we've got, we've got so many of them, like whatever you're going to find in the MUI, you can be able to use it in here. And if screws in here, I already have it selected where you can select any other design system from bootstrap to iOS design system to the old material UI and much, much more. So this is actually what the component looks like. And if we try to look into the actual documentation of the MUI, we're going to see this is what the, like the nav bar looks like, or the up bar looks like. And we actually got it here. And if we take a look, like whatever props we're going to be able to pass into this, you know, stuff like the position, we're going to be able to access it and pass it in here. So any prop is available from there, you can actually access and have it in here. And this is creates a really opportunity for us as to connect with designers. And the best part about all of that is actually you can access the components. So if you're seeing here, if you change to the view code mode or the component mode, you're going to see the upper components. It's actually a react component rendered in here. And it's going to give you all the props that are being used currently to render this in real time in the design. Now, like whenever the designer does anything or you can collaborate with a designer and you can make real time changes to these props and it's going to be absolutely amazing. And this is actually the same thing. If you go to this, this is actually a typography. You're going to go to this typography. You can put custom images that did in here with different options. Maybe you got a card, which is a very complex and complicated component from the MUI. And yet it's being rendered in here. It's actually being put together for different other nested components and you can access all of those. By just like, you know, control then select whatever components. And it, it's actually really fluid and really easy to design and put all those together through the editor plus the components from the MUI library. So if you want to actually access the editor, you can just go in and try UXPIN for free or you open UXPIN if you already have a got an account. And for the merge integration, it's actually available from the Git or from the storybook, which are both absolutely amazing, especially the storybook one. So if you've got this developer team that uses storybook to describe the components and test them and just kind of like, you know, it loads the whole kind of team. And so what we actually want is actually to use the MUI library or the design system and use those components to design our landing page. And later on, what we can take is actually take those particular components from the design we put together and create the actual code on React 
and it's gonna make it like a real world application. So for example, in here, if you switch as Christian here, already we got a single page. If you switch to the design system and libraries, I uh, got already like MUI selected by default. So you can select whatever design system or you can make a new library and you can import your own custom design system. So importing a custom design system needs a little bit of work just so you need like to use the AOXPAIN API, but it's a really, really simple one. So you can just like imagine doing this in like a couple of days and there you go, you got your design system in here. But unless if you wanna use something like MUI, you're actually ready to go. So after selecting this, you're gonna find all the components that MUI offers right over here just for you to use. So you can go and use the search bar maybe and search for the up bar in here. So click in here, uh, we're gonna have the up bar just going and created for us or maybe drag and drop in this. So there you go, so that's what we've got. Uh, we can go and drag just to make sure this is taking the full size of the canvas and there you go. So we already got that in here. So maybe we can go and double click this. Um, so we wanna change, so what is what is that name? This is the news, I don't this. I, I want this like for example, a website for learning design or something, maybe a design course website. So my design career, so that's what the name of the website is. Something that simple or anything like that. So maybe you wanna have like a really nice image in here, so maybe you can just go and copy paste it. And you can actually do that copy pasting from like one editor to another, like from one EXP to, to another, or just drag and drop it from your file system, it's gonna be right there. It's, it's really nice and very easy to do. Um, so maybe you wanna like something like a typography, so we wanna put some title and text. So drag and drop this one in here. Uh, screw scene is gonna start like by default. So maybe what we want in here, I got like some H2 um, stuff. So I wanna list H2 and they want the color to be kind of text primary. So they want this to be um, completely pitch black. And I wanna name this my designer career. Okay, so something like that. And I wanna go and stretch this up to take the full space of this. And I wanna take this a little bit in here. Screen the designer can play around with this, but what I can think is screen in here because this right now has like absolute positioning. What you could actually do is actually use the grid. And this is gonna utilize the full potential for like how to basically put the full website as a developer would into like making it responsive and everything. So you can go and drag and drop in here the grid and you can have it all worked out together just to have it together with like how the grid should work and, and everything. But it's really not that much of like importance or necessary to do that because the developer can always like figure this out, this kind of layout things in here. As soon as like he knows the bits and stuff, like how what the text font or the font size is being used with the font family, the colors, the different small details in here and the layouts can be you know can be figured out by the developer and by like putting grades those are small teeny tiny things but adding those to the design will make it absolutely perfect so let's say we want to be done with that fast so i'm going to ignore this great stuff and let's say i was just going to jump into uh, maybe a little bit more details so this one will be like an h4 so you can select everything in here from like whatever is available on the mature ui so if you take a look on the typography it's clearly seen there is like from H1 to H6 and there's different subtitles and you can provide all of those through the props and through the variant props more particularly. Uh, maybe you wanna take a look on the API itself and you see it here, you can find everything and everything will be possible to have it through the actual prop on the UX pin um, editor in here. And that's possible of course by because of the merge so you can edit whatever you want in here. So um, as I said before, there's gonna be more like an H4 and it's gonna have gray, maybe like 500. So maybe you can put some text into this like, um, like, you know, become professional designer now with our comprehensive course. So if you could continue putting the design together, this is what it would look like finally into the editor. As you see here, there's everything is it's fully interactive, maybe from images, the typography uh, elements and the text elements, everything that you would need, maybe the footer as well, is just like a static thing, obviously, because you don't have exactly a component that represents that on the material UI, so you need to like hard code this, maybe like a div or something. But overall, it's all gonna be good, maybe like a button in here for like join us now, and much, much more things. And the most important part is actually the card in here because it's a very complex element and they all being put together really, really well. Or maybe in here for like 
quickly edit in with like designer and developer and you want to quickly just do some edits you can just quickly do that and you're going to be seeing this like immediately taking effects on the components itself through the props for example yeah i don't like this menu thing in here i'm going to get rid of it so i can get rid of the children that gets passed into the the icon in here and boom it just gone like that and now whenever i select i'm not going to be copying this screw in here there's maybe this typography inside of it there's this button inside of it that you're taking space but the material i think in here the icon button itself so you can clearly go ahead and like remove that all of it and this is going to take the other space around in here and it looks way much better now because you got only the button and you got the you know the title in here with the logo and you don't need anything else it's really small and just like teeny tiny fast change and it give you the results right into the components and that's actually really awesome from the merge so let's say now it's the developer role and now it's actually the time to take the design we've got like for example the, the landing page we've got in here from the designer that has been designed using the xpin merge and put together using the muy design library well it's time for us actually to take this design and put it into an actual react application throughout the merge and what it can do for us so for example in here i've already created an actual application of react and and i use the create react app library in here uh, to just to scaffold a really simple javascript react application and it got some bare minimum stuff into it in here just to speed up the process so i've got nothing in here so if you take a look on the application itself it just has hello in here and let's just go and try to say oh i'm gonna put the up bar in here i don't want to just go through all the details of how to do that because once you know something you will be able to easily do it all of it uh, so for example i want to put the up bar in here so when you select the up bar screw in you can go through different options or you can go through the prop I love this page in here. So now it's telling us that Uprop has a color of primary. It has enable color and dark, uh, false, which we can ignore that. And the position is a static. So I wanna change the position stack to relative. So I want this to be on top. I don't want it to be like following me when I scroll. And you know, there's no styles in here I need, okay? It's pretty simple. If you jump back in here and let's say like, oh, what we need in here. So I'm gonna need an up bar. So you're gonna be putting an up bar, make sure to import the up bar in here from the MUI material uh, package in here and uh, make sure to go ahead and do like, for example, variance, or sorry, we don't have a variance in here. Uh, position is gonna be relative and we got something like color, it's gonna be primary. So maybe I need to double check that and that's actually indeed primary. And also to, to move the layouts in here to be able to see this side by side uh, it will be a little bit better for us so for example if you continue the up bar uh, so this is what we've got from the up bar but the up bar has a little bit more details into it if you refer to the mui documentation so for that we're going to need to use the toolbar which should be like a toolbar that goes on the top in here and this is what actually going to give it the look and feel of an actual toolbar so for this you're going to be need something like a typography that goes into it as well make sure to import all these components from the mui or material UI library. So this will be, for example, if you take a look on that, those, these are really small ones. Um, so I'm gonna need to go and go in and like, you know, zoom in, but this is actually what it is. So the typography of a variant H6. So um, it's H6 variant, and it's gonna have like a line to be default. And um, I'm gonna have some background color, nothing. Display will be default as well. And there isn't much going on into it. So just by the text in here, we got like my design curry. So I can go ahead and copy that real quickly. And there you go. So we got the typography that goes right into that particular place. Um, for the other thing in here, we might have is another button. So if I go ahead and double check that, um, where's the button? There you go. So that's the button here. Select that. We got the button with the color inherit. And um, okay, sorry for that. Yeah, it's, it took us to the the documentation for some reason but if you're going to import the button real quick and you're going to have a color of inherit as this one does um size it has defaults so as you can it's really easy for us to go and copy as developers and you're going to have like an absolutely accurate design as we want it to be so maybe if you try something like this and go to control s and save that and there you go so as soon as we save that and we go back in here we're going to immediately find out my design career and maybe this is because I, I can't see the button that comes through or maybe the color should be more like primary um something like that because sometimes it doesn't show up because of 
because of like what the color says. And there you go in here. So we got both of the typographies, but basically the style isn't as we want it to be. So there's clearly something missing. So if we try to go back in here and I try to go to the typography because I noticed something, um, there should be maybe like the S X in here should be set to like, you know, like that, that takes the full size of it. So that's probably what we need to do in here maybe like change the components because, uh, because sometimes the style is not this really accurate thing. So you can add the whatever styles in here through these props so that we can do the same thing in here um, throughout this one. So we can do XS, for example, is going to be an object and it's going to, for example, has a flex grow of, um, of one or yeah, maybe, maybe more, but this should allow it to flex grow and take the full space. And this will be like the last one. So if you're seeing here, the style now looks absolutely accurate. And even though if we like take this full size, it's going to be fully responsive because you know, you got material eye happening behind the scenes in there. And it's, it's actually really nice. If you're seeing here, we actually copy the code from the XPIN straight into our editor. And we, and we just didn't like copy ugly code that is professional. And it's actually very, very professional code and really well written, uh, very easy to understand. Plus it's actually using our favorite library. MUI that we are going to use to build our production, our website, our landing page, whatever you're looking for, actually. And if you actually spend some time and go through the whole design and copy the components together, make sure you put them together, make sure you style them together and make sure to put the layout right. Well, that's actually the full code that we needed in here. Maybe we needed to put some other components together as well. And for the images as well, we, we need to import those and use them as React. But the most important part of having the styles, having the grids and having all this kind of layout together, just copied straight from the design exactly as it was designed by professional designers or the design team. And for us as developers, it made our lives absolutely easier, like 90% easier. And it just like, you know, they don't need us anymore, right? As developers, they can write code by themselves through the design that you can do right over here. So if I jump and it's close in here for the React application, this is the result in here, just from converting this, just from copying from going like different stuff in here, different cards, copying the card itself, going through different stuff in here, like, you know, the, the nested components by clicking or double clicking those to access the card header. Maybe you want to access the card contents, the typography goes inside of it. And you copy all of those to like images in here until the footer and the buttons and everything. This is what you're going to get as a result. You're going to be able to convert this design, absolutely the same one into a react application that is absolutely ready and it has your own code it doesn't have this ugly code as it does with other kind of tools and it's straight to the point mm -hmm.